Okay, select the type of radar, click create, and now let's delete the render camera if we're not rendering in screen space, which we're not. Now let's go to the blips area, increase the blip count size by one, turn on the blip, and let's go down to the tag area, select the tag of the object we want to track, and now let's uh, reduce the scale of the blip to 0 0.2, so it's smaller on the radar. And let's turn on the uh, tracking line and base tracker, so that helps us visualize the blip in the blip's Y position. Now for the blip, let's assign a material and a sprite. Now for the tracking line, we're gonna assign a, a tracking line material, which is a default tracking line material. Now for the base tracker, we're just gonna assign a sprite and a material to that. And now we should be able to run the scene and everything will work perfectly. All right, so there you go. There's your 3D radar rendering your sprite blips. Now we could have used prefab or mesh blips at different LODs, but this will suffice. So that's how easy it is to set up your uh, 3D radar.